Cobra here. Welcome back to my channel. So the question um, was recently brought up in my channel of is there a way to teleport or anything in this game since the map can get quite extensive. If you have not seen the map, um, the size of it, this is not even the full map. Um, we're over here and you can go all the way over here. It'll go all the way out to here as well as all the way up to here. So it is a very large map, even with a mount like an ostrich, a, a jaguar, alpaca, it still will take a long time to get from place to place. So to them, we want to show you the two different types of teleporters that are currently in the game, as well as my, <coughs> sorry, my current knowledge about them. Now, I've tried all of this stuff in the closed beta. I do not know if the location of any of these has been changed since the early access came out. Uh, if anything has changed, please let me know in the comments so that I can uh, correct this as soon as possible. But, so, so far, there are two types of portals. The first one that most people are going to know about are these ones, the mysterious portals. There's one in each... Um, we'll say region, kind of biome of the map. You can see this is the starter area, the rainforest. There's a portal right there. Then there's one that's here. It says Mysterious Portal Hill. That's near the fog, frog boss. There's one up above the ape boss, the wetland portal. There's one over here in the volcano. There's one up here in the plateau which we call the desert and then i believe i don't have it discovered yet but i believe there's also one up here in the snowy region so at the very least there are six of them on the map uh, as far as i know that's how many there are i'm not sure if there are any more that have been added for those maps or for those teleporters i will show you in just a minute but the other type of teleporter is this right here this is a basic teleporter or a personal teleporter. Now, these ones you don't see quite as often and they are a little bit more limited. Uh, you get these actually from going through these dungeons right here. Ancient Ruins Dungeon, Holy Ruins Dungeon. Uh, you can actually find the parts of them. Uh, in just a minute here I will show you a clip of me in those dungeons going to get some of these parts, what they look like. Um, they are very heavy, I will tell you that, so be careful. Uh, make sure you bring them out with you so that you can carry them. Now, limitations on these ones. You have to have two portals, uh, and you have to have them both placed down in order to be able to teleport. In addition to that, you cannot have any items in your inventory. You'll see I can hit this button. So we got this portal over here. You have deployed mounts and cannot teleport. You also have to go and end deployment on this. Teleport. Now you can see you cannot carry any item in your package. But if I go over here, anything that's on your hotbar or that you have equipped, you can use. So we'll go here. And you can just teleport. So this is our other end of it that we have at our other base, our newer one. So you can just come right up, hit E on it, and bam. There you have it. That is that teleporter. And the limitations, like I said, you cannot have a mount deployed. You have to end the deployment. And you cannot have anything in this part of your inventory. Anything on the shortcut items, or as I call it, the hotbar, or that is equipped armor-wise is okay. Just nothing in your actual inventory itself. And you cannot take mounts through this. I don't know if any of that has changed since early access was released, but that's how it was uh, in the closed beta that we were playing. And then I'll show you just um, a clip to just to see where to get these as well as what they look like in the actual dungeon. Okay guys, so here we are. We're inside this Ancient Ruins dungeon. So you want to make sure you get all the way to the part with the actual robots themselves. <gasps> and that's where you're going to be able to find these, um, these portal pieces. I'll just kill these real quick. So, 
some of them you have to actually activate little things like that in order to be able to open the doors. Oh, I didn't even have to kill that one. It was a malfunction. So you can see, I'm just going to activate this. Let's go open the door on the other side. Now, one thing you want to know for this dungeon is it's very good, or actually any of the dungeons, you're going to want to have a mount with you, but be careful of this. If you have a mount with you, if you step on that, it's going to shoot arrows. It can kill your mount pretty easy, especially some of them are floor spikes. Those will also kill it pretty easy. <laughs> You're going to see here is one of the portal pieces. Every portal is going to need three total. So you can see we'll grab this right here. Press and hold to get. And you can see obtained portal part one. Now each of them is going to look slightly different, but they're always going to be in a room like this, and they're all going to look pretty similar. You'll notice each of them weighs 20, which is why it's nice to bring a mount with you, because adding up just the three of them alone is 60. That is a good portion of your weight. You can literally just have this dude follow you through the dungeon. You know, he'll just follow you in. You can ride him, you can not ride him. It's all up to you. But uh, I like to use them for storage. But that's up to you. So this is any of these dungeons is where you're going to get these. Uh, Ancient Ruins Dungeon here. I've seen them in the Holy Ruins here. Um, the Holy Ruins here, I'm sure, has them as well. Any of the mechanical dungeons, you have the opportunity to get them at. This is the other kind of portal that the game has. So other than the personal portal that I was just showing you, the game also has these mysterious portals that, like I said earlier, there's, I believe, six of them around the map. Um... These ones do not have quite as many limitations in terms of what you can and can't bring through. Uh, if you are on a mount, it will bring the mount with you. Uh, if you're off the mount, it was a little glitchy, I'm not sure. Um, with the EA version, I haven't tried it. Um, and then, but with these ones, you can actually bring your inventory through. So if I, yeah, I've got stuff in my inventory, i got a portal piece, bowl bring some random assorted items the one thing that you want to remember for these is i guess two things one you have to find both portals and activate them using three green crystals each in order order to be able to teleport to and from so this is in the rainforest this is probably the one you're going to get first so activate it with three green crystals and then once you reach any of these other locations with three green crystals, you can activate those as well. And then anytime you want to teleport, you'll see it costs mask energy. It costs 250. Um, once you get your mask upgraded, that's absolutely nothing. But early on, that's a little bit of energy. So make sure that you come stocked up with sunstones. Just give yourself a little extra kick. But you can see what happens is once they're already activated, you're going to walk up, hit e interact and pick one so we'll go to the plateau for example and now you see with my inventory and my ostriches inventory both of us are here in the desert the plateau and then we can go back to any of them we'll go back to the rainforest so these are helpful for covering really, really long distances. Um, I know in the comments people were saying that you know traveling 2,000 can be annoying for them, uh, or 2,000 meters. But like, let's see, we're looking at distances of 5,000 meters right here because the map is actually that big. You know, over to this side. You know, 2,700 meters from where I'm at to over here. So that is insanely big distances. If it's anything shorter, um, what you're probably going to want is the personal teleporters because those can be placed wherever you want. 
But like I said, the limitation on those is that you can't actually bring any items or mounts through unless they updated that. Uh, but I haven't actually gone through on the new servers, any of the dungeons, and gotten that to check. Um, once I do, I will update this if there's any changes, but this is what it looks like so far. Um, but for actual super far distances, yeah, these are going to be your best friends because you can bring anything you want through. I've brought tribesmen that I've recruited over. I've brought mounts over. I've brought all kinds of items over. Makes it much easier, whereas the other ones are very limited, but they're a little more convenient because you can literally place them inside your base. So it just depends on what you're going to do. But hope this helps you guys. Um, just a little simple video showing the different ways. Um, other than that, your best bet's just going to be a mount. Um, you've got the alpaca, which is one of the, I'd say, middle speed ones. You got the jaguar, which is a little bit faster. You've got the llama, which is slower. You've got the ostrich, which is faster than i'd say it's faster than the alpaca but not as fast as the jaguar and then snow leopards which i have not seen yet but uh, mounts are also very convenient for traveling medium distances and it looks like they actually made them easier to get since you can find a lot of alpacas in camps now but i hope this helps if you have any questions uh, just let me know in the comments uh, please like and subscribe and continue to Stay tuned for more content. I'm trying right now to get a video out about every day. Um, I try to post it at 8.30 a.m. my time, uh, Pacific time. So depending on where you're from, that could change a little bit. But I try to be pretty consistent with the release time. That way everyone knows when to expect the next one. And if you guys have any more suggestions for videos, please let me know in the comments. And I will see you next time.